This video is brought to you by my house. Hey. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I'm over here outside enjoying the night. It's really brisk and enjoying this really good kombucha citrus. Never try this one. It's really, really good. My favorite's usually the ginger. But uh, <clears throat> just wanted to talk to, to you guys today about um, this really cool place I went to. It's uh, oh, sorry. There's some baby raccoons climbing up a persimmon tree. Um, anyways. Um, it's called a verb for keeping warm. It's a really, really cool spot. Uh, we, uh, me and a good, really good friend of mine, we went there to uh, do some natural dyeing. So, uh, let's check it out. So yeah, this spot, the verb for keeping warm, it's uh, it's located in Oakland, California. Uh, actual cafes next to it, really, really good cafe. They serve a really good, a mean lavender mocha. I don't drink coffee, but every time I'm down there, I have to get it. And next to that, kind of connected, is a, a Victory Burger, which uh, you'll see if you, if you see a big old gr uh, graffiti face. And uh, this, this he's actually pretty iconic in uh, Oakland. He goes by Gats Graffiti Against the System. This dude is everywhere. Um, if you're around San Francisco, Oakland, you'll definitely, Berkeley, definitely run into him. But um, but yeah, this place, man, this place is, is something else. It's They have a lot of organic, natural, and even cellulose options. Uh, you know, in, in case if you want to gear away towards, you know, harming the animals, this is a really good uh, place to go. Um, actually, where we where our workshop was, it was outside. Um, uh, the owner, uh, Christine, and her uh, her partner, they were the ones that taught us uh, how to natural dye from uh, from some examples that they had they had up. They basically we were given some silk, and uh, we can either use some uh, dried up parts of plants. Um, they, they actually was really surprising and really inspiring. They had their own uh, uh, garden up and running. Really, really cool. Uh, which, you know, allowed us to have a bunch of options for us. And, um, and they have had yeah, some really cool, uh, even some gadgets that were, uh, I think they were drying up some plants. It was really nice. And um, you know, it was really cool to see some bees, you know. And uh, I think they even had a rabbit. Which uh, I think they harvest. They would harvest its fur and use its uh, fecal matter as compost to go back in the garden. Really, really cool. But uh, essentially, what we would do, we would arrange our, our, our piece of silk in uh, in kind of whichever way we, we, we were digging. And then um, we were messing with the primary colors: a marigold for yellow. I think it was a matter root for red. And um, really exciting to to play with blue indigo. Um, they actually were growing bunch of indigo on site. I mean, it was really cool. Actually, it's a cousin of uh, buckwheat, which is surprising, but essentially we would cook these things and then um, in different ways, you know, we would dip in one another and then eventually we would come out with some really, really interesting patterns, uh, really intricate. Everyone kind of was doing their own thing. Uh, I really admired this one lady's. She managed to get really fine details of flower prints really really nice stuff you know and it, it just completely inspiring to make your own clothing and stuff like that and uh, so there you go um, that place is something else really inspired to go back and uh, get some work on uh, making my own clothing you know empowering myself like that um, not too long ago, I was completely oblivious to to that type of world. You know, to you think you're trying to be healthy, you're trying to be, you know, stay away from things that are harmful. You know, you think all oh, air pollution or, or food, and the last thing you know we think about. And it's funny because it's with us constantly. Is the clothing that we have? Um, it's it's 
It's crazy. I mean, we have to be aware of everything. It can be overwhelming, but I mean, if, if, if we're patient, if we're passionate enough, we can change. You know, slowly but surely, you can change. And um, it's, it's really important to, to, to understand um, even clothing. I mean, it's, it's quite dangerous. Um, the chemicals that they use, <laughs> uh, you know, even the, the production and how it's made, you know, eventually the stuff leaks into the oceans and destroys ecosystems and, I mean, no bueno, you know. But, uh, but yeah, I'm mostly excited to, to start making my own clothing and to be proud of it, you know. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Check it out if you're down in, in Oakland, California. Um, actually, I have my scarf somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, this is mine. First time dying anything, you know, so pretty proud. Not, I mean, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really wear silk on a regular, nor really rock accessories like a scarf, but I mean, hey, you start somewhere, right? Really cool. So, so there you have it. Um, let me know, talk to me about, you know, this topic of making your own clothing, um, from sewing to, to dyeing, anything, you know. Uh, I'm really interested, even to growing you, you, the own plants, your own plants, or, or if you're, uh, you know, ethically harvesting for, you know, stuff like that. I, I, I want to I wanna learn how to learn more about it. Um, any questions, anything like that, sh you know, shoot them at me. Um, yeah, I just want to just wanted to put it out there I want to have people uh, think about things differently you know even something as as like clothing you know so so yeah um, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a have a good night on this chilly this chilly night and I think I think I'm gonna finish this there's this kombucha alrighty